things are rough for me right now. You might be surprised, but I don't have a car of my own. Even though I'm a little tall for my age, it will be another five years before I can get my driver's license. This summer, I don't have an office lined up to pursue my financial ambitions. That may need to wait until after sixth grade. I don't even have, have a house of my own. Luckily, my parents don't charge me rent. So I, I don't have a car or car keys. I don't have an office or office keys. I don't have house keys. I don't have any keys. But the crazy thing is, is that I have 43 keychains. 43! 43 keychains and no keys to put on them. <laughs> well, then why do I collect keychains? Key well, when I buy a keychain, or when someone gives me a keychain, or when I make one myself, the value isn't that, that I can attach a key. It's that the keychain is a reminder. It can be a reminder of a person, or a place, or an experience. So, a couple of years ago, I got a keychain at Lake Powell. When I look at the keychain, I can see this beautiful lake in the middle of the desert. It's dark green and blue water, surrounded by sandstone cliffs. I can remember thrashing around in the water trying to hide in a water ski strap for the first time. The water rushing under me as the boat started and pulled me along. I slowly leaned back as the boat dragged me up and out of the water, a feeling I will never forget. I remember helping my sister build a handkerchief, water fights with grown-ups, and the fish that we landed. That keychain is a reminder of that glorious summer. So my collection of key cheatings is really a collection of experiences. So when I think about dreams, you know, not, not, not nightly dreams, but the dreams I have of what's possible, what can be, I think that they're built off of experience. They're built off of the interests and passions sparked by those experiences. So, it may surprise you that I, have, I haven't really spent much time close to the ocean, actually. Being a, being a Colorado kid makes that tricky. But after my time at Lake Powell, being in the water, being on a boat, I wanted to learn more about the ocean. And the more I learned from school and from books and TV shows, the more passionate I became. I'm passionate about the ocean because it's like a whole different world full of beauty and mystery. Forests of kelp and coral and all sorts of animals gliding, drifting, and crawling through the water. Why are so many fish flat? Do different types of fish have different types of gills? How does algae absorb sunlight? The ocean is also full of stories that spark my imagination. All over the world, whether scuttled, sunk, or scrap, the ocean is home to thousands of shipwrecks, with hundreds that haven't even been explored, and hundreds more that haven't even been discovered yet. So, I think that the interests and passions sparked by experiences like this are important building blocks for dreams. Oh, speaking of building, that's another thing I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about building because it doesn't matter what I build, I always have fun doing it. Building is a cool combination of experience and imagination. A build can be as simple as stacking two blocks. But using your imagination, those two blocks could become anything. They could be a skyscraper, or a rocket, or something so strange and wonderful that nobody's thought of it yet. Building makes me feel like I can do anything. Um, these are a few of the 
uh, the few of the things I've built back here, I've built a jetpack and APT, an all-purpose tool, and I've built the pasta structural strings tester. Let me give you an example with one strand of pasta. We put it in the grooves. We hang this right here. And you can see right there, that little plate helps us know to put the hook right in the middle. After the pasta breaks, you pick up the strands of pasta, and you leave all the rocks in the bucket, zero out the kitchen scale, and then weigh the pasta. This one was 75 grams. That's how much it took to break one strand of pasta. The pasta structural strength test was m my third grade science fair project. I decided to do an experiment that tested the, st the strength of uncooked noodles suspended between two towers made of Legos. I used the Legos again for my fifth grade science fair project. I built a miniature wind turbine to test if more blades had an effect on the power output. Legos are cool because they can unlock a world of creativity, no matter how many you have. The Lego company actually conducted a study to see just how many ways Legos can be combined. These are the results. Just two of these eight stud Lego bricks can be combined in 24 ways. Three of these eight stud Lego bricks can be combined in 1,600 ways. Six of the eight stud Lego bricks can be, com be, can be combined in more than 915 million ways. So with eight bricks, the possibilities become virtually endless. Legos are awesome that way. You just start off with a few bricks, and before long, you build them into a whole new creation. Just like experiences help you build dreams. I think that each experience that you get is like a Lego brick. When you have enough experiences, the possibilities to combine those into something bigger become virtually endless. And by the way, we kids are definitely good at dreaming. But to have big dreams, we need to be exposed to all kinds of places and people and experiences. Those experiences could be anything from reading about sunken treasure, to being in a play, to riding an airplane, to building with Legos. Last year, I was lucky enough to be invited to join the Colorado Imagination Chapter, which is, a pilot, which is a pilot program sponsored by the Imagination Foundation. The chapter meets on Saturdays, and we build stuff. It's just a bunch of kids getting creative with cardboard, electronics, Play-Doh, Legos, or anything else we can get our hands on. And classes like the Imagination Chapter are so special because they give kids like me a chance to experience things I might not get to on my own. So if you want kids to have big dreams, give us the experience bricks to build them. Give us opportunities to have new experiences. Encourage us to chase our passions. 
maybe someone's big dream is giving kids as many experience breaks as we can so that we can dream of the things that will, positive, that will positively change their life, someone else's life, or the world. Thank you.